hello this is emanuela and today i'll be talking to you on scholarship tips and tricks if you are just joining my channel for the first time you're welcome so today i want to give you the assured ways you can actually get scholarship but before i continue i would like to tell you some things which are number one quantity is better than quality yes you heard me very well when it comes to scholarships quantity is better than quality there are places that quality actually matters a whole lot and i'll tell you those places aside that i would also like to tell you to go for it i am going to explain each point so please um subscribe to this channel turn on your notifications share this video if you if you actually enjoy this and then make sure you make use of the comment section to ask all your questions okay so please you're welcome to this channel let's go on so quantity is better than quality yes you heard me very very right when you're applying for scholarships don't ever leave a scholarship of maybe 50,000 naira just because you are looking for the one of 500k yes except when they say that if you get the one of 50,000 naira you won't be able to get the one of 200k again when you're looking for scholarships apply for all scholarships yes just keep applying for example um let's say you are for MTM Foundation, for example, they could say that maybe medical students can't apply for that scholarship, but I advise everyone to apply. Do you know why? Because if you have an excellent result, the scholarship bodies might consider you. I'll also be giving you the possible scholarships you can apply. Number one, as an undergraduate, you can apply for a lot of scholarships such as Chevron, Albami, and a whole lot. So before I conclude this video, I'll be giving you that. So more on quantity is better than quality. Try as much as possible to apply for a whole lot of scholarships. Just apply for a whole lot. You don't know the one that you are going to be chosen on. You don't know the one that they are going to select you on. So just apply for a whole lot. Anyone you see, apply. Don't just leave it and be like, and don't ever feel discouraged don't ever feel maybe you are not smart enough or anything like that for a scholarship now this quantity is better than quality can also be applied like when you go for scholarship exams for example when i went to write Abami chevron exam there were about 30 questions in weber reasoning for um 20 minutes and there was about 30 questions on quantitative reasoning for the same 20 minutes so for quantitative reasoning for example you'll find out that there are some questions you can easily know the answer within 20 seconds meanwhile there are some that you need like maybe two minutes before you can even find out the answer so will you keep on waiting for that one or two um two minutes maybe to prove that you are a boss or something we keep on waiting there no you click as fast as possible and answer all those ones you know you can answer within seconds like you really don't need to waste your time just answer those ones you know you can answer within seconds and then move on at the end each question carries an equal mark and most times it's not people that are extremely intelligent or people that are really intelligent that win all these scholarships no most times it's just those that know the trick and this is one of the tricks try as much as possible move with speed and then answer the simple ones then later you come back for the hard ones and the same thing applies for verbal reasoning if you know the comprehension is taking you too long to answer try to answer the simple ones for example you can see something as simple as um if i had known they would just be like if i had known i wouldn't have dash you know that is past participle if i had known i wouldn't have done that or if i had known i wouldn't have gone there so um you answer questions like that there are questions that are simple as testing whether it is is was or where so questions like that you answer them as fast as possible there's an exception to this rule for example when you're applying for indigent scholarship please do not lie yes if you apply for indigent scholarships please do not lie if they tell you that it's for those that their parents are late don't apply for it leave it strictly for those people that their parents are late don't ever lie to get any scholarship integrity is very important yes don't ever lie if you are being chosen let it be that wow they saw that you did extremely well or something like that let it not be because um, you lied or something your mind self will be skipping as you're eating the money your mind is skipping and god will not be happy with you again please pray before going for any scholarship yes you really need to pray because most times god can favor you they can just choose you 
instead of someone else now what else can you do when you're applying for scholarship now let's get into the tips proper when you're applying for okay when you're applying for a scholarship there's something very important if truly you want a scholarship in the university i would advise you to download apps like cam scanner apps like uh, photo resizers why do you need to download a cam scanner because it's not every time that you need to go to a cyber cafe in fact i don't go to any cyber cafe to scan any of my documents since i came to the university i knew i wanted scholarships before i came in i knew i needed scholarships so immediately i used cam scanner to scan all my documents documents get i got all of them down so that anyone that comes i'll just apply immediately so what you do scan all your documents the documents they usually ask for what kind of documents do they always ask for okay i'll talk about that in my next video but for now you know your white certificate has to be there jam result has to be there and stuff like that scan all your documents and get them down now why do you need a photo resizer because most times when you scan your documents they can be up to 3 mb they could be up to 4 mb and stuff like that but then normally they will tell you to upload the document in 200 kilobytes just 200 kilobytes so what will you do you need to resize it you need to shorten it to 200 kilobytes so that's where photo resizer is actually very very important now i would also like you to follow this channel so that in this channel i'll be giving you more more tips on scholarships let me tell you the truth there's a lot to know if truly you want to get scholarships so you can help yourself be comfortable especially if you're in med school there's scholarships that are only meant for engineering students there's some scholarships that are meant for everybody for example nigerian liquefied and natural gas is meant for everybody everyone can get it and it's 100k i didn't get that i'm sorry but anybody can get it i didn't apply for that um when i was supposed to it's for 100 level students but like i told you apply even if when you're even if you're not qualified if you're in 200 level 300 level try out who knows they can pick you and if you perform extremely well they wouldn't want to leave you since this video is getting too long so i'll cut it now and do a part two of this video now what to expect in part two of this video i'll list several scholarships that you can apply for in 200 level and then again i am going to list scholarships for different departments and then i will also um give you um tips something like um websites where you can easily access scholarships so please thank you so much for watching this video could you please subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel and see you again next time please share this video yes please don't go without sharing this video kindly share this video thank you so much bye bye